Hi everybody and welcome to day 60 of index card a day. <laughs> I can barely get that out without giggling. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I am using a stencil called Heartwood. Um, it is from Memory Box and I'm applying light and fluffy modeling paste by the crafters workshop and this stencil is beautiful it's very beautiful and I never think to use it I have a few small ones um, from memory box that I used to get from my local craft store when they were open the place where I taught classes at and I have quite a few of these little stencils and I just never think to use them. It's like they get lost among the rest of them. And they're very pretty. So for the background, I'm just gonna take some of Jane Davenport's watercolor paints and just let them run loose along the background. really no plan to it <laughs> just doing what I think looks pretty and again by editing <laughs> I could see a part where I wish I had stopped because I really liked it but I still like the card in the end but I really like it when it was just the two shades of blue and there's one part where I didn't quite go to the edge with the paint. I'm like, oh, that would have been nice. I could have done it that way where the pattern's still there, but it's not completely covered with paint. We should soon be getting to it. About here, I think it is. Yeah, then I went in with the dark blue. And I liked it when it was white. But the idea I had was for the color to really be in there among the pattern, but then for it to like go out past the pattern and fade out. So that is what I was going for. So while I'm playing with the watercolor paint, um, there's nothing really for me to tell you guys. I got my order come today, which I mentioned in a voiceover for another card. I told you I do the editing. <laughs> I do a few cards of editing and then I'll do some voiceovers for more than one card most of the time. Sometimes I only have time to do one voiceover but today I am hopefully getting them all done. So anyways my package came today and if you follow me on Instagram you'll see in my Insta stories that my Distress Oxide ink pad was not opening like I thought I was either going to crack the case right in half or I was gonna get stabbed trying to get the top off but I did not hurt myself thankfully I thought for sure I was going to but I was trying to be very careful to keep the pokey tool pointed away from me <laughs> so if it slipped it was not going to pierce in me so I finally got the cover off and it broke like the upper right corner of the case. It was not coming off. It's still in there and it doesn't look like it'll come out at all. And there's no point of it coming out anyway because there's a hole in my case on the side now and my ink's going to dry up because it's not closed up. So, um, like I said, I had that posted on my Insta stories and Simon Says Stamp liked it because that's where I ordered it from and I mentioned them in it. So I get a message saying that they liked the post and I'm like, okay, but did you see that it's broken? And so they told me to email Simon Says Stamp service department and I got an email back almost right away and they were saying sorry for the inconvenience and 
asked me for the order numbers. So by the sounds of it, I think they will be sending me a replacement. So, and that was really, really fast service. I love sign and says stamp. Like I do almost all of my ordering, like 90% of the products I get are from Simon Says Stamp and I've never had a problem with them before. And this may not even have been them either. Like this was probably when the ink pad was manufactured. Maybe the top got pressed on too firmly or maybe it happened in the shipping because it, it looked like it had been open at customs. So who knows how it happened but it looks like Simon Says Stamp is going to take care of the problem right away. I mean, that's fantastic customer service. Like I said, I never have a problem with them. Like I have to wait a while for my packages, but I live in Canada and they're in the States and it has to go through customs. So it's not like I'm waiting months and months. I don't even know how long it takes. I keep forgetting to check, <laughs> like to write it down, but it probably takes once they ship it, I'm going to guess maybe close to three weeks, maybe. I don't know. I'll double check. So I checked my email and they, they shipped it on the 12th and today is the 30th. So that is one, two weeks and four days. So that's not too bad. I mean, you can wait sometimes that long just to get things through Canada so I like it so anyway the <laughs> getting back to the card that stamp set I used was by Pink Paisley and it's called Butterfly Garden and I just took some Distress Oxide ink in tumbled glass that's what it was called right I know I showed it in the video and then I wanted it a little more visible so I did it again in Distress Archival in the color Mermaid Lagoon and I really like how that turned out so I'm just trying to add a little bit more color to get the blue a little bit deeper in some areas and it didn't show on camera I don't know if I forgot to add the video or if I forgot to record when I was doing it but I did take some wink of Stella in the clear and I went over a couple areas in the floral pattern and it shows up here in person um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera in the pictures at the end but it's all right. It's not a necessary step by any means. <laughs> it's okay. But I mean, you can see the sparkle. It, Wink of Stella is very beautiful. It can just be used in better ways than I used it on this card. But that is it for day 60. I really, I really love the pattern and the colors of the watercolor paint. So Thanks so much for coming by and watching my video. Talk to you again tomorrow for day 61, the very last packet. Yay! <laughs>
Thanks so much for stopping by. Let me know if you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also head over to my Instagram account and say hi to me over there. If you have any video requests, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to check out my other videos.